In this video, I'm going to walk and talk you through how to use Loom Screen Capture to save you time. Now, if you've been following any of my content online, I'm all about systems or anything that saves you stress, time, energy and money. And Loom is a platform that I know and love to actually record some videos or communication channels or any sort of screen capture software to then send across to any of your clients or your potential prospects to actually share and communicate with them in detail. Now I have done another full walkthrough on how to get set up on Loom and I'm just going to show you specifically how to actually share, how to capture screen and actually use some of the functionality within Loom to actually save you time and use passive communications where possible. So to get started then I would always recommend people to go across to the Chrome web store and actually download Google Chrome and upload it into your extensions. If you're surfing online I would always recommend to use the Google Chrome browser. It is much more powerful than uh, a lot of the other browsers out there and it's the one that I know and love. Uh, like I say I have done another full tutorial on how to use the Loom uh, screen recorder to capture your um, capture your screen and share it with uh, with others but now I'm just going to go into my Loom dashboard and I'm just going to show you, you can either click on new video or you can actually go up to the Chrome extension and then just pop that out. Now as you can see I am in here if I was sharing a FaceTime HD camera you can actually turn that off. Um, a couple of things here I'm just going to actually switch my camera off. I'm actually using a screen recorder of a screen recorder so it's quite tricky so I'm just going to get my um, my visual out the way. So here you can actually record full screen, you can actually record with camera or not or you can actually record with whichever microphone you need. So um, I'm just going to go full screen and then here before I hit record I'm just going to do a quick test record. Um, I would tend to go full screen, you can either select the window or select your current tab or if you just wanted to record camera you could do that. So camera you can either have on or off, I'm just going to use my FaceTime HD camera so we're talking um, to you now. A few things here you can actually make it um, either bigger or smaller just by using these little circles here or you can just cancel it and get rid of it in total. So then you can actually go to your microphone and select whichever microphone you want to use. Uh, I'm currently using my Rode Podcaster to record this but if I was using anything else it doesn't really matter about the quality if you are just sharing a piece of communication with someone and that being a passive communication. So you can have your built-in microphone, it's totally fine. Just up to the top right here are some settings. Uh, you can actually select the video quality that you want. Uh, I, I actually pay for Loom so I use 1080p and then recording countdown. I quite like a countdown being on the, the actual screen itself. Recording controls, if you see in my bottom left you can actually get rid of them or keep them on. Again, this isn't really public facing so I actually use those recordings uh, uh, controls on there. You can either flip your camera so you can mirror it or you can show your recording time if you like. So there's some settings there and in my other video I've shown you effects, blur and canvas and then all I'm going to do now is I'm going to start recording. I'm just going to, uh, I have had quite a few comments on my last video so I'm just going to go ahead and click start recording then it's going to give you entire screen window or chrome tab. I'm just going to go entire screen, select it and then share. Now what you can do here it's going to give you the three, two, one, go. You can then actually do your recording. I could actually uh, do a screen recording if I was to actually respond to any of these comments as a screen recording. I would then answer their question in a screen recording. I have done that uh, to a few of these questions once you're happy or if you're not happy you can actually blur content or you can restart in total or you can actually skip or rewind and trim or pause. You can pause this video. I'm happy with this. I'm just going to click stop. Once Loom has actually processed this video the idea of this is to keep it upload, uh, keep the upload on the cloud so you can simply share this with people. Now the best thing is you can title it what you want. You can share it like I've shared in the other video but I've had a few questions on how to actually share. You can actually share openly, anyone with the link can view or I've had a few questions on how do you actually restrict who can see this. So if you only want one person to actually see your video you can have only people can see this access and then put your name or put their name in here uh, and it will just add one member. So that's how you share. You can embed this by copying a GIF thumbnail and then adding it to a 
um, an email or a chat group or Voxer, any link where you can put this to actually chat to someone and actually impart some wisdom, showcase something you've done. So if I say I've just done an about page for someone, I could go through the entire about page uh, and then I could walk and talk them through what updates I've had. And what I love about Loom is they do offer a free uh, starting pack here. So if I was just to go down and look at their free, you can get up to 25 videos per person per month and up to five minute total length in videos uh, for one video. So you can have 25 videos of up to five minutes per month for free. So if you were running a small business, a one person business or a solopreneur, this would probably be good for you if you just wanted to share communications and save time by sharing communications. Loom will be a great addition to um, your software platforms. Just share what you want to share, talk over it, record your screen, record your voice, and then actually use that as passive communication for your team or any prospects that you share that link with. And similarly, if you wanted to share any presentations with team or bosses, you could actually walk and talk them through the presentation, record it on a Loom, and then send it to them passively so they could actually go through it in their own time and you don't have to connect on a live Zoom call. So that is saving you stress and a lot of time. So hopefully that makes sense and that helps you with understanding how to use Loom screen capture to actually save you a lot of time. If you're running a small business, time is of the essence. And as I currently am building a one person online business, I scrutinize every tool that I use and Loom is one that I do pay for. I am on the business pack. If you wanted to get a download, a free download of all the tools that I use for this online business, you can get a free copy today. Head to timpeakman.com forward slash tools. I'll link that up in the description just so you can have a look through, see of all the tools that I currently use free and paid to actually build, grow and run my online business. So that link once more, timpeakman.com forward slash tools. Look forward to seeing you again on another video soon.